Team CV, Victor here with Celebrated Victories. Give you guys another video, and I hope you're doing well. Hope you guys are staying blessed. And in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is teach you guys how to start your own LLC. Okay, this is gonna be specifically in Texas, but I'm sure the system and the process is pretty much very, very similar across the states when you go to set your Secretary of State website. So you guys can follow along, check it out. And at the end of this video, or towards the end of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how my Texas veterans, if you're in Texas, you're starting an LLC, you're starting a business up in Texas, you can get the $300 fee, start your ATM business or start your LLC. Um, you're going to get that reimbursed. So I'm going to show you that process and what, what that looks like step by step. So be sure to check the front of this because that's how you start the LLC. And then for my veterans, the back end of this video is going to teach you guys how to get reimbursed and get that money back um, after you started your certificate of formation. Uh, slash LLC before we begin I do want to send you guys down to the video description check out my free training it is available and it's about an hour-long webinar that's gonna give you step-by-step -step instructions how you guys can start your ATM business whether you're new whether you already have one is struggling with some stuff check that out because it's definitely a good way to get started and be helped out now leading me into my next thing I'm not a CPA I'm not an attorney I'm not like this tax professional Everything that I'm giving you, all the information that I'm providing is strictly based off my experiences and how I have did stuff. I do have help from my CPA, which I can ask questions and things like that, but that doesn't mean that it's the right situation for you. It doesn't mean that it's what you're supposed to do. All right, what I highly, highly recommend if you're getting into this business, whether it's an ATM business or any type of business where you're forming an LLC, you're becoming, you're becoming a professional, it's time to take it serious. Find yourself a CPA, find yourself the support that's needed to be successful and do things the right way. With all that being said, let's dive into the video. All right, so if you haven't done this and this is your first time, you don't have an LLC, like I have an LLC so I can simply put my stuff in here, but you're going to need to register for this if you don't have one. So you're just going to simply register, you maybe go to accounts, um, request for an SOS direct account, all right? And then, you know, do that and then you guys will be good. But for me, I'm just going to get us started. All right. So when you get here, you're going to have to put your contact information. So I'm going to do that really quick. Now we're going to hit continue. And you also have to put a card information in as well. Whatever card you're going to use to pay for it. All right, after you put your card information and all that, now you can get started. What we're going to do is we're going to go to I want to say business organizations. And we're going to go down to this so we're going to go to down, down to domestic LLC. Okay. File document, filing type, certificate of formation, continue, and we're going to go LLC, and then you're going to put your name. Make sure when you're putting your name is consistent. So in this case, for this purpose, we'll just go with... Um, Take your time here. Do not rush. You don't want to make mistakes. You want to make sure you're spelling everything thoroughly because if you do, it's a lot harder to try to change it after you already filed. And it's probably going to cost you more money too, honestly. And then you could do a name, avail uh, name availability search there. I'm going to continue. Then you're going to put your address, city, all that stuff in here. I wouldn't put your actual home address on here. So you're going to put whatever virtual address or whatever address you want to do. If maybe you have a physical office that you want to use, you can do that as well. So here we're not going to put a business name because we're not going to be registering through a business. Okay, we're going to be doing it ourselves. So um, we're going to put our own information. So you'll put your last name, first name, middle, suffix if you have one, and then whatever address you're going to have on file, whether it's a virtual address, I would have recommend using your personal, but whatever address you're going to use, that's what you're going to put there, and then you're going to hit continue. 
So for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna have a manager. It's gonna be managed by the members. So I'm gonna go with this one, all right? And this is for me, this is what I did uh, for my businesses before. Um, you do what you feel is best. If you, have, if you feel like you're gonna have managers, if you have uh, other people managing it for you, then it's a little bit different. But in this case, it's just gonna be myself. So I'm gonna do it the way um, I did it for my last businesses and you guys can do so whatever you feel is, is uh, necessary for your situation. But that's what I'm gonna do. What you're gonna do is hit add member or, or manager. Now the governing authority is gonna be myself again. So you're gonna put your information here. Okay, so it should look something like that. I'm a managing member, okay? I'm not a manager, but I'm a managing member. Okay, so make sure that's important. Make sure you should read it just like that. And if you're gonna add another one, you can add another one, but we're gonna continue. All right, you don't have to put anything here. All right, so we're gonna skip that. And then you're gonna be the organizer. So this is gonna be the same thing, your name and information here. And we're gonna hit continue. Just make sure you take note of this too. All right, now this is where you're gonna put your signature. All right, then it's gonna come on to here and you're gonna just make sure everything looks the way it's supposed to. And then you're gonna hit submit filing. All right guys, so once you file, it's gonna tell you that it's gonna take about 10 to 15 or 14 business days to um, actually go through. But usually um, in Texas anyways, they're really quick and you're gonna get it in probably one or two days. If it's over the weekend, you're probably gonna get it like on the following Monday or Tuesday. Um, but so this is going to be the email that you're going to get. It's going to look something like this. And this is, I've done this like three or four times. So I'm really familiar with this. And what you're going to do is, um, you're going to download the documentation right here. And these are going to be the three documents that you're going to need. The most important is going to be your certificate of formation. Okay. Or your certificate of filing. And it's going to look like that. And it's going to have your, your, the name of your company. It's going to also have your file number, okay? So your first PDF is going to be the acknowledgement um, PDF. And that one is pretty much just letting you know, like, hey, congratulations, you're now a business owner, right? And then the third one is going to be your original document. And that's pretty much the same document that you signed and sent to them. The second link right here that you're going to get, that one's going to take you directly to the, um, to the SOS link, the Secretary of State um, website. And it's going to just kind of show you that it's been processed. And then down here, um, you're going to do your EIN, okay, to apply and obtain for EIN number. This link right here, this is just pretty much telling you that they already uh, registered you for taxes. So please be aware that correspondence from the Comptroller of Public Accounts about state taxation will be sent to the address you designated as the, referred, as the registered office. You can change the tax mailing address online at blah, 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 okay? So you don't have to worry about filing anything like that because they're doing it on your behalf, at least for Texas. Anybody that's not in Texas, um, I'm sure it's pretty much the same process. It might vary a little bit. It might vary as far as like the cost to file and all that stuff. But one thing you want to take note of, note of is just call your secretary of state. Just let them know, hey, what what do I need to do? You know what? How do I file for taxes and all that good stuff? Um, do you guys do it on my behalf when I set up my LLC? Just ask those simple basic questions. Um, hey, what do I need? Is there anything that's that's <clears throat> a little bit different than other businesses that I may need to start my my um, my ATM business or do my LLC? And they'll guide you. Okay, don't hesitate to reach out to them. At least the one in Texas, they're very helpful. They're very um, good with giving you in it, giving you information. And I'm sure it's like that across the country. So you just got to do a little bit of research, but that's it. Now you set up your EIN and then you're good to go. Okay. Uh, so do I need an EIN? Yes, you do. We're going to go with yes. So begin application. And we're going to go to LLC. Continue. Um... Continue. How many members? So in this case, it's just one member. You're going to select the state. 
Due to number of members in your limited liability company, you are considered a single member LLC as the type of structure applying for an EIN. Since you are a single member LLC, you will initially be classified as a disregarded entity for the purpose of filing federal taxes. Um, yeah, this is all just important stuff that you may want to consider, you know, showing your CPA, especially when it comes to tax time. Just make sure you do that. Make sure you have a CPA. Don't go out and trying to do your stuff through TurboTax or, you know, H&R Block or, you know what I mean? You want to make sure you get somebody that knows what they're doing, someone that's certified, somebody that's a professional that can help you. Don't go online and try to do it yourself and try to get the biggest refund. Nah, this is serious stuff, so, you know, you have to treat it as is. Okay, the next thing, choose one reason that... Choose one reason that best describes why you're applying for an EIN. Start a new business. And then you're just going to put your first name. I am one of the owners, members, or the managing member of this LLC. So we're going to press that. Continue. Your street address. This is going to be the information or the address that you used when you registered your LLC. Now here you're just going to put your LLC name. You don't need to put anything as uh, for your DBA. County where the LLC is located. State. Okay. Uh, select territory where articles of, organization, articles of organization are filed. So this is just going to be the same thing. In my case, Texas. LLC start date and then year. So today we're in January 2023. All right, and then you can hit continue. So these are just going to be basic questions that you got to ask. So does your business own a highway motor vehicle? What's a highway motor vehicle considered? A highway motor vehicle includes a self-propelled vehicle designed to carry a load over public highways, whether or not it's designed to perform other functions. We're going to go with no there. Gambling wagering, no. Does your business need to file Form 22? Actually, good question. I'm going to go with no. Actually, let's call my CPA. Let's ask him. Yes, sir. This is Victor again. Real quick. How you doing, man? <laughs> doing yourself. I'm doing great. I just have one question for you, though. Yeah, go ahead. Form 720. I'm not I'm not doing that, right? I don't need to file Form 720? No. Okay. That's what I thought. No, okay. All right. Thank you. I appreciate you always. Sure. Yeah. All righty. Bye-bye. Bye. I'll ask if you did anything. Bye. Sounds good. Does your business sell... Or manufacture alcohol, tobacco, or firearms? No. Do you have or do you expect to have any employees? We're going to go with no. Continue. Choose one category that best describes a business. Click the underlying links for additional examples for each category. So we're going to go with, um, so we're going to do receive letter online. We want to get our stuff immediately. Please review the information you're about to submit. If any information below is incorrect, you will need to start a new application. So just go over all your stuff, make sure everything is cool. Once you submit, please wait while your application is being processed. It can take up to two minutes for your application to be processed. Congratulations, your EIN has been successfully, successfully assigned. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's it, y'all. And then you click here and make sure you save it. And I'll put this in the video description as well. Um, when you're looking to start your LLC or whatever type of entity it is, um, you just need to get with the Texas Veterans Commission, submit a verification form. And the verification form looks like this. It looks like that. This is the verification form. So you're going to need this and you're going to have a code here. And this code is what's going to be used when you file your LLC. Going back to this, the way you do that is all you're going to do is um where is it you're going to go in here this pre-qualification -qualifi checklist you're going to click this link right here and select verification letter and it's going to walk you through this process all right you're, ju you're just going to answer the questions there's six parts okay i'm not going to go through the whole thing it's pretty self-explanatory um as you kind of do it um, main reason for contact. So you're going to do, well, I'm already here. I might as well walk you guys through it. Why not? Ver veterans verification letter. Any additional comments needed? 
you can put right there you don't need to put anything there first name middle name all right and then you're gonna put your mailing address for it. they both start with H Houston and hands for it all right so now you're gonna go next are you currently in business yes or no you could put no if you're starting out if you are already put yes we'll put no in this case because we're just starting uh, business phase ideation that's going to be if you're just kind of in the ideal process if you're in the startup process you've been existing for more two or two or more five or more years so in this case we're going to go with uh let's do business startup industry let's see for industry we're going to put other okay um so we're going to just go next beginning service date so this is obviously going to be the date that you started serving the country so we'll say 23 um january church all right note we are we note that we serve all veterans regardless of discharge type okay cool good to know so now we're gonna i don't know if i should actually submit it let's go with it see what happens this message is a confirmation that your request has been received please allow seven business days for your consultant to contact you you might not even have to fill it out, but just fill it out anyways, okay? Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to email this email right here, vep at tvc.texas.gov. All right, please black out the social security number on your DD-214. So what you're going to do is to receive a letter of verification of veterans honorable discharge that includes a unique alpha numeric identification code, each veteran must email a request along with their department of DD214 your DD214 to blah 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 please black out the social okay so each mail each email request must include this so i actually i remember doing this now that i'm kind of reading it um just open up a word document okay and then you're just going to literally just put these dots you're going to put the date the veteran your your name middle initial last name your mailing address city state zip and then telephone number and then you're just going to copy and paste this inside and then sign at the bottom. And you can just do that in a Word document, print it out, and sign it. Okay, so that's going to be the first thing you're going to want to do. All right, the second thing is you're going to have, you're going to complete this form right here. So I'm going to open it up, and it's this. Okay, you're going to put your entity name from, from when you filed your certificate of formation. Put the same exact thing, your your uh, name right here. And this is where you're going to put your... um your ID number when you get it from the Texas Veterans Commission. So you have to fill this out after you send that email and they verify your DD-214. Okay, and then you're going to put the uh, percent of ownership there, percent of ownership there. So if it's just you, you're going to put 100%. If it's two people, which both y'all are going to need to um, the be veterans, then you're going to put 50-50 and then, you know, 100% down here. So again, remember, this form right here has to be filled out once you submit um, this, okay? Once you submit this, then you can fill this form out right here, and then you're good to go. What's gonna happen after that, once you fill that form out, you're gonna save that, print everything out. Print everything out, print your uh, verification letter that you received when they you know, ver verify that you're a veteran. Print the, um, what else? Print this form that I just showed you right here. Print all this stuff out, and then, what, uh, what you're also going to print out is these documents that I showed you before. Print out these documents that you received in through, through your email. Print these out, all three of them. Your acknowledgement, the certificate of formation or filing, and then your original document. Print all those out and send everything to them. You're going to send all this stuff to them. So you're going to send the verification letter. Okay. You're going to send the 904, which is this form. You're going to send the three documents that I just showed you, your certificate of filing, the acknowledgement, and the last one was the original form that you submitted to actually get your LLC. All right. And then right here, submit required formation, registration, and verified documents. So right there, I'm going to open it back up. It gives you a list. All right. But just send everything that I said. And you're going to mail everything to this address. And then you can contact this phone number right here, and they'll be able to walk you through. So this whole page that I'm, that I'm talking about, I'm going to put it in the video description so you guys can have it. Okay, you'll have the link to this, and it should be really easy. You, sh you guys should be able to do this with no problem. 
um, step by step. I did mine a few years ago, and then they um, end up, which I was good when I made the LLCs that I made before. I was good. I got my money back and whatever. And then um, they stopped doing that, and now they just opened it back up in 2022, in January 2022. Um, so now you just submit all this paperwork, and then you're going to get your, um, what do you call it? You're going to get a check from the Secretary of State refunding you the amount that it costs to start your uh, formation. Okay. Get your certificate of formation, set up your LLC, um, even if you're waiting for your verification letter to get back to you. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? There you guys go. That's how you start an LLC. And for my veterans, that's how you get that $300 fee waived. I hope this video is delightful. I hope it helps a lot of people. Let me know in the comments below if you like it. Let me know if it's helpful for you. Also, let me know if you want me to do a different video or give me some other topic to talk about. Either way, guys, I'll talk to you guys with another video. Stay up, stay blessed, and much love.